So back course talking FF7, we're talking rebirth. We have a quick little bit of info slash news today. It's involving the Metacritic reviews of Rebirth, which we can expect by the end of the week. And of course the Metascore, which is always something kind of interesting to look forward to with any game that you're interested in. So they dropped this tweet earlier today that says new and upcoming video games with meta scores, February 29th, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, PS5. Expect reviews towards the end of the week. Any meta score predictions for this one? And if I had a hazard guess, it's probably going to be Thursday, the 22nd, because that's when the embargo is lifting on that like four-hour play session people got to do like a few weeks back that we learned about. Like that's when those reviews should be coming out. So that's probably when this stuff will be happening, which is, you know, pretty much the end of the week. Now, as for a prediction for the meta score for the game, I think like 90 plus is like a very, very safe bet. Like, because Rebirth is going to improve upon pretty much everything the remake did, right? In terms of like the size of the game, it's like a longer experience. The, the world's bigger. There's more to do in the world. We're, we'll get to experience a lot more than what we got with Remake. Remake was quite linear, et cetera, et cetera, right? It's just going to be a better video gaming experience than what Remake was. And Remake's like high 80s. Like PS4 version's like sitting at like 87, and the PS5 version's sitting like 89. And if Rebirth is going to be better than remake at the very least it should be in the 90s if i had to give like an exact prediction i'd probably say like 92 or 93 i'm not sure where i fall out exactly i hope it to be more like we want it to be as successful as possible obviously uh but i think it's like a safe bet i don't want to go too crazy because people are you know predicting it having like one of the highest ratings ever and it's like mm, i don't know if it's gonna be that good i hope it is like i hope to be wrong it'd be nice for it to be like the, one of the highest rated games of all time type shit uh, i just don't know if that's gonna happen but for me like personal score probably will be I mean, ultimately, it's all subjective, right? Like, the nature of any sort of review. Uh, you can have, like, user scores on Meta Metacritic and then also, like, the actual critics, like, journalists and shit like that. And they're kind of all over the place. Like, you can have... There's some people that gave, like, Remake on, like, the PS4 back in 2020, 100. And it's, like, it's a great game. It's not a flawless game. It's not ex it's not 100, right? But then there's also, like, recent reviews you can find from, like, this month of this year uh, that people give it, like, a zero. Like, it's just, like, a terrible remake. The worst thing you've ever seen, right? Like, Patty and all sorts of stuff. I just read this just now. It's like, dude, fuck off. <laughs> like, remake is not a zero out of a hundred score on Metacritic. You fucking loser. Get a life. Obviously, everybody's gonna have different opinions on whether or not that like the meta scores matter, whether or not they care about them, et cetera, et cetera. I know that in some cases they can literally matter. Like, obviously, the people that make the game want it to be rated highly, obviously. But I just know this because of like, because I used to cover Bethesda on my channel, like, and this was a while back. But like with Fallout New Vegas. Like, Bethesda would have gave Obsidian some sort of a bonus if, like, they hit a Metacritic score of, like, 85, and they hit 84, they're off by one point, but they didn't get that bonus, and it's, like, a controversy back in the day. I don't know if Square Enix has anything like that or any other developers out there, like, compensate their dev teams for, like, high Metacritic scores, but obviously that's something that is a possibility. And obviously, just in general, if you're working on a project for years and years and years, you want it to be rated highly. Ultimately, when it comes to, like, the meta score for a game... It doesn't necessarily matter to me other than me wanting the game to be successful, of course. I kind of look at it as like the Rotten Tomato scores. Like whenever I see that in a trailer for a movie and they're like flaunting, like we got 95% of Rotten Tomatoes. I'm like, I don't give a fuck, dude. That doesn't tell me your movie's good or bad because I've seen highly rated movies that are terrible and I've seen low rated movies that are fantastic. Like the shit is just doesn't even matter. And it's all subjective, right? So I'm still interested just to see what this is and just kind of see where this game falls compared to Remake ultimately. So, of course, pass off to you guys. What are your thoughts on the Metacritic score for Remake? What do you think the user score is going to be? What do you think the, the actual critic score is going to be? The user one is kind of whatever. It's almost always lower than what the critic one is. And, again, that's where it gets review bombed generally, like we've seen in the past with a lot of other controversial games. And the Remake project in its own way is kind of controversial just because it's not exactly what you know people wanted. The fans of the OG FF7, so it's always going to be technically controversial. And, actually, speaking of the game being controversial... That can matter a lot too, at least on per people's ratings, depending on if there is new stuff in this game and what the new stuff is and if things are changed. Like if we get to the end of this game and Aerith doesn't die, like that's going to piss a lot of people off that want it to be faithful to the original, right? Same thing with Zack being potentially alive, right? If he is alive in the remake project, that's going to piss people off because according to the original FF7 storyline and all that shit, he's supposed to be dead. It's just stuff like that. Like what is new? What is actually like change? If anything's changed at all, that type of shit is going to probably determine a lot of people's like overall rating of the game, despite their hundred hour journey or whatever. They're just going to kind of base it on the ending and shit, right? Anyways, that's the video. Subscribe to me if you guys are new. Social networks in the description below. Follow me on Twitter, Dash David YT. That's it. Bye. I used to care what people thought, but now I care more. I and mean, nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending. Depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that. Like old train, we in here. Like low gain or leave it. Like old bang.